Hello everyone, welcome to episode uh, 48 of this series. Uh, in the last episode we got, over yonder that way, uh, we got the Amethyst uh, Geode all sorted out so we can easily access it for, you know, block gathering. Uh, now, this episode, and probably next episode, and maybe episode 50, we are taking a little bit of a break from the industrial district, because it is starting to hurt my head. Um, so what we're doing in this episode, and probably next episode, is we are going to turn this little beach area into a little bit of a turtle sanctuary style area. We're going to have, uh, four beach houses, we're gonna have, like, a tiki bar, like, you know, stuff like that. But it's also going to be a functional turtle farm. Not necessarily hyper-efficient, because we don't need it to be. Um, it's, it's, it's more so, okay. We want the turtles to stay here, so we're probably going to put in a little bit of a barrier. Um, around the water, and then we'll make this area look all colourful and nice. Uh, we'll push the beach back a little bit. Um... And we will... We'll do a few other things. First things first, though. Uh, as you can see, this whole area just needs a little bit of um, sorting out. And I probably should have brought more sand because I didn't quite expect it to be quite so... Um... Well, broken is not the right word. Um, fucked up? That kind of fits. Um... Oh, good lord. See, this is, this is why we need to go through with sand and do it, because if, if they fall while we're building, it's something like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake, that's another thing to do. Um, now, while, while we're doing this intro and while we're doing the sand bit, I will just say I have uh, put together a good grief. Okay, we're going to need more sand. Um, luckily, we have 50 million of it over in the industrial district. Um, but as I was saying, uh, I have... Uh, put together a mod pack for the modded series. Uh, I am basically just going through now and making sure that, you know, everything's running, there's not really much lag issues, uh, stuff like that, you know, no major conflict, making sure that everything runs smoothly. So hopefully, um, episode 50 and onwards, uh, I'll be able to do a modded series which will help take some of the pressure off, uh, you know, getting these episodes done. See, you know, this world is great. I do love it. It's, as I've mentioned before, it's gotten to the point where it is taking a lot of effort to get even one episode done. Which is why doing episodes like this are quite nice, because they're fairly small, they're fairly chill. Uh, there's not much going on in them. It's just a little bit of building in a new area. A uh, little bit of terraforming here and there. Uh, it's like, I'm thinking if I maybe push the beach back uh, up to this hill. So that we can have, like, a proper... Like, let me just go and outline where I'm thinking of taking the beach to. Like, just running it all the way along this. Because then we've got plenty of room to build with. Uh, we can do some fun stuff over here. What? Ooh, now that could be fun. Um, I've just thought of an idea that I'm going to do. Uh, and that is to have uh, a couple of mushrooms over here. Um... Specifically one as the bartender. Because A, it's kind of cool, and B, that way, um, see like this part I would say I'd want to take this line back over this way a bit more. And actually drag the line over around here. Yeah, that looks better. Um, okay. Just a little bit of terraforming. Not much, because like I said, this, this needs to be a sort of, uh, a bit more of an easy, low effort build. Uh, to give my brain a break. Um. Do, 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 do. So not, not, not too much, like, super over the top techniques and stuff. No, no, you know, game changing Thing that bobs. Just chill. Fairly casual. Oh shit. Back to the bed. Do do do. Um but yeah, so with the uh with the mod pack now nearly ready to go, 
I just want to double check a few things. Um, what will probably happen is I will, like I said, I want to take this to episode 50, which I will do. And then they'll probably, and then there will probably be a few um, uh, weeks of episodes where it is just uh, the modded, just to get that like kickstarted up and running. And then it will go to, if I can get an episode of this series done, it'll be this series. If not, it'll be modded or something else that I haven't yet come up with if, if modded starts to become like this series. Um, do, 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 do. I mean, I'm I'm really looking forward to the mod pack because I found uh, one of my favourite mods has been revamped to 1.18. Um, and that is Ars Magica 2. Now, I believe the previous version that that was up to was 1.8 or 9, maybe 10. I don't quite remember. I think it might have been 10, actually, because I remember they added shields to one of the spell things that you could do with it. Um, but that has been updated to 1.18.2, and that is the version that we are going to be playing on for... Uh, mainly because that's where the 1.19 hasn't really been out long enough to get full, like, mod updating and support and stuff. Um, so... We're going to 1.18, and I'm not too fast, to be honest. Um, sure, it means I won't have mud bricks, but I'm going to have other new modded blocks to play with. Sure, it means we won't have uh, the deep dark, but we've got other stuff to do, you know? Um, I'll work on blending this later. There we go, that's the, that's the rough parameters done. Um couple of other mods of note that are in there uh blood magic uh refined storage bot uh, not botany botania uh and upgraded versions of pan harvest wow i'm tripping over my words today um an upgraded version of pam's harvest craft there we go um what else is in there chance cubes are in there which are going to be quite fun um uh stalwart dungeons the abyss uh an updated version of Traveler's Backpacks, if anyone remembers that mod from a long time ago. Um, oh, what else is there? Um, mechanisms in there. Um, immersive Engineering's in there. Uh, it's uh, Ars Novu's in there. Um, the <laughs> Manor and Artifice, which is the... A spiritual successor to Ars Magica is also in there, so we've essentially got two uh, two versions of Ars Magica in there, which I am loving because that is genuinely my favourite magic mod, hands down. The the sheer customizability of it just makes it so much fun. Why am I doing this with a hand? Um, do, 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 do. What else is in there? Uh, oh, the biomes you'll go is in there. Um, Twilight Forest is in there. Um... I might have a look for... Oh, right, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about this tunnel. Uh, I might have a look and see if I can get some other dimension mods in there. Um, the Abyss is in there, which is quite cool. Uh, what else is in there? Uh, an upgraded version of the Reliquary mod. Uh, which adds just... A, you know, if you don't know what that does, that just adds a bunch of cool items. There's, there's a bunch of cool mods, essentially. Um... And as soon as I can figure out how to actually publish uh, the mod pack, which hopefully I'll be able to figure out before I start uh, doing the mod pack series, uh, it will be available in the description below if you wanted to try it out for yourself. Um, but yes, so I'm going to take a little bit of time here. I will finish terraforming uh, this little area and I will... Uh, I'll bring you guys back once we've got all of that, um, sorted. Oh boy. Um, but yeah, so basically, okay, I said I'd cut, but actually I want to talk about what I'm planning on building here. Um, essentially the plan is to have the beach, uh, a handful of beach huts, four at minimum, because I want to use all of the quote-unquote painted looking woods, um... And then there's going to be an outer wall. It's either going to be out of sandstone or mud brick. I haven't yet decided. Um, there's going to be... 
like I said, there's going to be a little bar area. There's, you know, it's it's going to be a nice, chill, mostly decorative, but also somewhat functional area. Um. Okay. Ah, oh, bollocks. Where I think we might be out of sand. Um. But yes. Okay. So now that I've explained what I'm going to do here, um, we are going to go. There'll be a cut here. Yeah. Okay. I'll bring you guys back once I've got this uh this entire area all nicely terraformed. Okay. So, here we go. We've got at least this part of the beach, uh, the part that we're going to be building on. Nearly. Hang on. Uh, give me... Give me that. Maybe here. So let's... Yeah, that'll do. Um, but we've got the part of the beach that we're going to be uh, building on done. Just got to start laying out a few plans now. In terms of the beach houses, it's, come on, we'll make them. We'll make them near the near the water. Um, let's say because we're going to have a wall basically around the back of this entire thing that leads into the water, so that I can then wall off the water. So the turtle, it's essentially a turtle enclosure. Um, but it looks like it isn't. Um, you know, so it's probably just going to be like glass or something. Uh, like glass panes in the water. Uh, to make it as clear as possible. Um, that way it still looks good. But we don't run the risk of them going... What are you all doing over here? What is so... Is, is it because that's sandstone and not sand? Is that why it's so fascinating? Yeah, okay. Whatever. Um, but yeah, so now I've just got to lay out a few plans. Now, we're not going to have like a turtle room per se. We're just going to let them lay their eggs along the beachfront. I feel as though if, say, like here, we put... Yeah, it's doing that for some reason. I don't know why. Um, say that we put like a little bar area like somewhere close to here. Not necessarily right there, but like in this sort of area, and then had two beach houses either side. That could be quite nice. We could also just do uh, a handful of beach houses. Uh, see, again, weird. Uh, a handful of beach houses uh, like this, uh, and we'll just do them in a row. That could also be an option. Um... And then have the... Actually, I think I like the idea of having the beach houses in a row here and then the bar over that side. Um, in terms of other stuff that's going to be here, no clue yet. Uh, but we'll figure that out whenever. Um, but if I start work on... So you got no clue how big we're going to want the beach houses to be. That should be enough, though. Um, how wide is that? Seven by... 7 by 11 is not too bad, actually. We can work with that. 7 by... 11, which should be that. Yep, 7 by 11. Actually, let's bring this one back a little bit. Let's, let's, let's... Let's tear them a little bit, so it's sort of like a, you know, a staircase waterfront type aesthetic. 9, 10, 11. I don't know. I I don't really make um, coastal shit in Minecraft. You know, not wanting to deal with water is a pretty damn good motivator. Um, so then, let's say there... 7... 11. Nope. Yep. And then... Let's say there. 7. 11. There we go. So that's... That's the rough placement of the beach huts done. Um... Okie dokie. Alright. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm content with that. I can work with that. Um, and then over here, we'll set up, um, like, let, let's take it from, like, here to, like, say here. Oh, I'm out of torches. Oh, tits. Well, it'll go that way, um, a ways. Uh, and that can be the bar. But, okay, here we go. Um, let's, let's get on with building these then. Uh, yeah, here we go. first I start laying out the uh, support straps the foundational pillars to keep it up off the ground um, and then I start putting across the stairs that will be the sort of uh, front and back I don't know bridge between the two I guess because then we're just going to run slaps the whole way across as you will eventually see um, I, I, I do try and figure out how I can make the pillar look better because it's that's definitely something I still need to figure out because they really don't look that good. Um, it, it, they're okay, but I can I can definitely do better. I've just got to get an idea, and that's the hard part, getting a fucking idea. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I then go across putting down a floor of uh, slabs. This is going to be the floor of the inside of the houses. Um... start work on the actual uh, walls of the little what I did originally describe as beach huts but very quickly turned into sort of mini resort bungalow cottage things um don't quite know how else to explain it um now I did try spruce wood as you saw for the pillars however I realised that the actual Matching the log with the planks actually worked best because it kept it looking painted, which is what I wanted, but it gave a clear texture difference, which is what I wanted. Um, so yeah, so stripped versions of the logs mixed with, um, as you see here, I do eventually decide to stick with the inside because it gives me a little bit more opportunity for uh, decoration and detail and stuff like that. Um, but I basically just do that with the rest of the houses, just in the various like warped wood, acacia wood, and uh, mangrove wood. Um, because they are the woods that out of all the woods look the most painted. Because while sure, acacia might be, I don't know what acacia actually looks like, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fact check before I, 
fuck myself over here. Okay, yeah. So, Acacia isn't that, like, stupidly bright orange in real life. But it is in Minecraft, and it kind of works really well as a painted orange wood. Now, we don't have the ability to add, uh, like, dyes to wood to make them different, because, and I'm pretty sure uh, there was a forum post saying that, yeah, they're not going to do that because it's too complicated. Doki. So, um, I've got, it's been a little bit, I've got the rough, very rough outline done, and I've sort of hit a bit of a mental brick wall in figuring out the, in figuring out the shaping, uh, and the roof, and, like, how I'm gonna get the detail, because this is very much not finished, um, very much not finished. Um, huh. Interesting. Um, like these pillars need more detail. The, the, you know, I've hit a brick wall. I can't quite figure out where to go next with this. Um, that being said, I quite like the placing. I quite like the colours, which is what I was hoping for. Um, and I think putting the reds at opposite sides definitely works the best. It keeps it from being too red and red you know like next to each other um i'm glad that i went with the strip logs for the pillars i think that looks quite nice um it provides a texture difference while keeping the color relatively similar uh deep state for the sort of supports because yeah obviously this has gone from like beach hut to little like resort uh like room hotel room or something like that um Obviously, if you're building on the waterfront, you're going to want um, to be above the ground. So if there is, like, high tide or a little bit of flooding, um, your house doesn't get fucked. Um, so that's why the whole deep slate's in there. I've probably explained this in the time lapse. Um, but yeah, there's going to be stairs out the front to get up there. What? Yeah, it's... The general idea... I've got an idea of the finished product. It's it's figuring out how to get to that idea, how to achieve it that, that that's really hitting the brick wall right now. What isn't hitting the brick wall is the tiki bar. Uh, I know I want to primarily use uh, spruce wood for that. I know I want to, you know... Uh... Oh, do we want to make it an L shape? Oh, I think we do. Um... I know I want to have, like, you know, I want to have the mushroom. I want to have, like, this, that, the other in there. Um, is that in line? It is. That feels a bit small. Let's drop that out by one. I know that I want to make it primarily out of spruce wood. Uh, I'm probably going to use campfires or uh, maybe hay for the roof. We should probably get a wheat farm at some point. Um, more enslaved villagers, because why not? Um... Could use mud bricks, but I brought them with me. Um, but yes, so hit a brick wall with that. So we're gonna go do we're gonna do this for a bit because I actually have a bit of an idea for that. Um, or I did. Yeah, no, I've still got one. We're getting there. Um, so yeah, so this putting a pin in this for the minute. Um, it's. It's a great starting point. It's definitely not finished. We'll get back to it once I've got some ideas for it. That I have ideas for. Um, so yeah, so we'll get on with that. Okay, so here I start laying down the floor plan for the little uh, bar area. Uh, 
as as I do mention later on, um, this build has very quickly turned into something far more complicated than I originally intended it to be. Which, uh, if you've been watching a few of the other videos, you'd know that that really isn't too surprising. I have a bit of a, uh, a track record when it comes to making things more complicated than originally planned. Um, but yes, yeah, so I then go around and put uh, a little, the actual like bar counter. Uh, I use uh, spruce wood uh, logs mixed with spruce wood stairs. I think it fits quite well. Uh, I like that the stairs create, by putting the stairs on the outside, you have this sort of shelf for people to, you know, put their leg under, move their legs in, that sort of thing. Not that you can do that, but it looks like you could do that. So that's good enough. Um, I then play around with the supporting pillars a little bit until I find a uh, design that I like. Um, which doesn't take me too long, luckily. I then uh, add campfires for the roof. Um, I start doing this silly method of being actually standing on top and doing it, and then I realize I can very easily do it from the bottom. Um, which saves a lot of pain. Um, but yeah, so I used um, campfires because they look good uh, and they sort of have these gaps in between them which lets sunlight through so it, 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 it works it looks nice it works um, it works better than trap doors for that distance um, Yes, I do then start doing a few other little bits and pieces here and there, like adding a few extra pillars. Uh, I do test adding some banners to the top, uh, however they don't sit properly. Um, so that, that idea gets vetoed fairly quickly, but I do decide to put uh, trapdoors around the uh, fences, which I think looks pretty alright and not too bad at all. Okie dokie. So, we have got uh, the structure basically in place. Um, I might add some more to the. Uh, I might add some like banners or something to the uh, to the support pillars here. Um, But I'm quite content with the shape and the structure and the current level of detailing. Um, in terms of like finer detailing, we're going to do... We're probably going to spend episodes 49 and 50 over here. Um, 48 will probably be finishing off uh, the beach houses uh, and also probably doing the wall. Uh, and then episode 50 will probably be finer detailing a little bit more. Yeah, that's 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 the rough plan, I think. Um, I'm I'm contemplating putting like a little building here, but I don't think it would work the way I wanted to, though I might make a little bit like I might bring that out by one. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I don't know. It looks quite nice, actually. Um, having that sharp sort of corner, it's like, oh, well, you know, it's like, here's the, it's, it, it's like those, like, pool front beaches, but it's a beach, pool front beaches? Pool front bars, but it's a beach front bar. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a way to explain it. Not very well. Um, I might add a basement, not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering why I can't sprint, because I'm clearly hungry. Um, okay. Got a few ideas, but not enough to really start on that now. Um, now something that I do definitely want to do is I want to get a few bartenders in here that are, uh, mushrooms. 
but I think that would be a finer detail episode 50, you know, thing, rather than a, a, a this thing, if that makes sense. Um... Because this episode has to be up in two days, and I'm running out of time. Um, okay, I am. Um, this is a, this this is uh this is a bit of a shorter episode, um, mainly because I needed a bit of a break from the industrial district. Um, and then I suddenly realised, well, shit, I need I need to sleep on that. I need to figure out. I have an idea. It will come to me. It just might take me a little bit. Um. Because then we need to, we'll probably trap them in minecarts, uh, the mushrooms, and just like chill them here. Um, I need to figure out what to make the wall out of. Hey, let's go do something simple and fun, you know, a, a, a nice simple change. Oh, it's quite more complicated than I think it will be. Oh, what a shocker. It's not like that happens with every single fucking thing I do. All right. Another idea I had for episode 50 was linking up the two nether portals with a nice nether portal tunnel and getting that area sort of reshuffled around and making it look nice, which I genuinely might do now, because um, I actually have an idea for that. Next episode's definitely going to be finishing, you know, getting, getting, maybe not all the details, but definitely getting the, like, structures in place, um, it's like the roof, the windows, uh, the details on the outside, um, like, not so much furniture details, but, like, any sort of other block details that I want to add for whatever reason. Uh, like, borders or, uh, like, more support for the pillars here. Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, oh, I actually do quite- I've, I've certainly got an idea for the nether tunnel now, fuck's sake. Um, okay, yeah. We'll, uh... Next episode will be doing some more work on this. Episode afterwards would be Nether Tunnel. Episodes after that will... Well, the f few episodes after that will be the modded series for a little bit. Um, and then we'll go to... Whenever I can get an episode of this done, it will go up. Um, if not modded. Because modded is... Something nice about a modded series is there is always something new to do. With with this series, we've got to the point where the only real new things to do are to make things. I can't really go out exploring looking for shit, you know, because we've found all the shit. Um, but with modded, there's 50 million things to go and explore. There's dungeons to do. It's, you know, more structures, stuff like that. So it'll be a lot easier to do more episodes for that than it is for this. Because I love this series. It's great. I enjoy building. Square. Quite time consuming. Um, and that was fine a few months ago, but I'm going to be getting very, very hectic uh, very, very quickly. Hence why I'm sort of pushing to get uh, 49 and 50 done uh, so that I can potentially take a week off to get some stuff sorted out, which would be nice. Um, but yes, so we've got at the very least a rough layout of the little beachfront resort type shit that we're doing here um next episode like i said we'll work on this more episode after that we will do the uh nether tunnel hub link up thing um and then after that we'll be modded for a while but yeah um i hope you all enjoyed um thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye